Hello, this is Miss Lily. I'm going to be talking about how to find um, an equation using your calculator from a set of points. So this is called the regression feature in your calculator. So um, I'm going to show you how to do this. If you're asked to find a polynomial function whose graph passes through each set of points, um, those points can be listed as a table, a set of points, ordered pairs, several different ways. So if we put those in as a table, you would have your x's and you would have your y values. So if you go to your calculator and go to stat, um, the first thing you see is the edit button and you would want to hit enter and you're going to enter these points in list 1 and list 2. So your X's will go in L1 I actually need to move my calculator up a little bit so that I can see my negative button there. So there's 4, negative 2, and 1. And I'm going to arrow over and put my y's for some reason it's not moving over let's see put my y values in L2 so I'm going to have negative 1, negative 13, and make sure you hit enter between each one. So negative 13 and positive 2. Once you get your values in your list, make sure that your L1 and L2 have the same number of values there. And then you can go back to stat and create an equation. Before we do that, let's go to second y and turn on our stat plot and just kind of get a visual of what these points look like. So if I hit enter it's already set on the dots. It's pulling from your list 1 and list 2. So if you go to graph, it's going to show those points. Now on this one, it shows two points out of three. If you want to see all three points, if you go to zoom stat plot, which is zoom 9, it's going to show you those three points. Okay, So we're going to see those points, and we want to make an equation for that. So based on what you see, you can tell that it's not linear because it's not a straight line. It could be quadratic. It could be cubic if it curves down and goes back up. So there's a couple different models this could represent. So there's another feature on the calculator. If you go to second zero, which is the catalog, and you probably can hit D to go down a little bit quicker, but I usually just scroll down. And you're going to scroll down to diagnostics. So there's actually two different ones listed here. If I can get down that far. So you're going to go down to where it says diagnostics on. And if you hit enter it shows up but you have to hit enter again for it to say done. That actually turns the diagnostics on. What that does is going to tell you what the regression is once we ask it to write an equation. Alright, so once we've got that turned on, we can go back to stat. It saved the points in there. They're already in there. We looked at them on the graph. And now we're going to ask it to calculate an equation. So you've got lots of choices here. If you look, number 4 is linear, 5 is quadratic, 6 cubic, 7 quartic, etc. So we decided it's not linear, so let's check 5 first and see if this would be a quadratic equation. Again, it's pulling from list 1 and list 2, so you're just going to hit enter. And what it does is take those points and it makes an equation. Okay, So you can write that equation down as f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is negative 1 b is positive 4 and c is negative 1. 
Alright, and if you look at that, the R squared there is equal to 1. That represents how strong a correlation the points are to this equation. Okay, so that's a perfect correlation. If you get negative 1 or positive 1 for a correlation, that's as strong a correlation you could get. So um, it's probably a quadratic equation. So we can actually look at this if you go to y equals. On your calculator, go to y equals. And then if you go to vars, and go through a couple steps you can actually copy the equation over so if you go to VARS go to number 5 which is statistics over to equation and hit enter it's going to copy that equation in there for you so then if you hit graph now it's going to graph the line over top of those points so that you can see that it is an exact correlation. So that line represents that set of points exactly. Alright, that's all you have to do.